Hey guys and welcome back to my series Play or Pass. This is where I approve or disapprove, recommend or don't recommend games on Xbox Game Pass. We're going alphabetical through the entire thing. Join me on this journey by hitting subscribe, ringing that notification bell to stay up to date with all of the uploads here. And also you can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Game Pass Guy MZ. And today we're talking about A Plague's Tale Requiem. A Plague's Tale Requiem continues the captivating narrative from its predecessor, delivering a dark and emotionally charged storyline that keeps players engaged from start to finish. Am I a hobbit or a child? The game's visuals are nothing short of, well, breathtaking really to be honest. The meticulously crafted world, detailed character models and the plague infested landscapes create kind of this eerie atmosphere that immerses players in its grim setting. Run away with the child! <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. It builds upon the gameplay mechanics of the first game, offering more diverse and challenging puzzles and stealth encounters. The enhanced gameplay makes for a more engaging and immersive experience. The relationship between Amica and Hugo deepens in this installment and the character's development is both kind of heartwarming and heartbreaking and it, and it adds a layer of emotional investment to the game. See you the Amazon. Of course. So go now. Come, Amicia the Amazon. One, we have to find a good hiding two, place. Possibly. However, the while the gameplay has improved, some players will probably find certain elements to be a little bit repetitive. I found myself sort of running from one wall to the next staying hidden there's a lot of stealth mechanics in the game but you're kind of restricted to small areas can i throw the kid off the cliff quick quick <laughs> don't forget to breathe my king come on then what are you doing this is a shit hiding place He's coming. what what's going on how many of you are there wait we didn't mean to trespass. We fell here by accident. We'll leave if you show us how. Lies. I swear. I don't know what's happening here, but we have nothing to do with it. Lies. You bloody thieves. I'll cut you to pieces. No blurps. I think I've got this one. Better go this time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm gone. Sorry. I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh my god. I don't think that was meant to happen. <laughs> the, you know, the mechanics are solid, but there's no innovation. It feels like we've kind of gone backwards. There's a lot of things here that remind me of Horizon Zero Dawn but it's very restricted in a tight space. There's a linear level design here that maintains a, you know, it, it's a small world. It's not big. It's not really influencing you to go and ex try and explore. It limits the freedom to roam and discover things, which is not something we like to see in a game in 2023. This kind of feels like uh, Horizon. Now what use do you have from But without the robot now? dinosaurs. You're dead. Let's cross now. They're going to kill us. No, because they won't see us. We like to see big open worlds. Even if it's a linear story, you can still have wide areas. I praise The Last of Us for this very fact. While my channel is very, you know, it is Xbox focused, I do appreciate PlayStation games in that The Last of Us is a great linear story with plenty of room to explore. Ooh. Come along, up on our way. How did you not hear that? I'm sorry, but nah. Now, the, at times I found the AI of both enemies and companions to be a little bit erratic, leading to really frustrating situations that can momentarily disrupt the otherwise immersive experience. I like the time period, I like the exploring castles, and I like the kind of mechanics where you're throwing things to distract enemies. But that's really it, you're going from place to place, 
doing the same thing over and over again. Let's go. Really? <laughs> you talk too much. Oh, is it just quick actions? See, I like the story, I like the graphics, I like the mechanics, but it feels like it needs more for me. Wait, the graphics are stunning, but I don't know. It's just like, eh. These mechanics are, have done better in other games. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's not really my thing. I'm going to give Plague Tale Requiem a pass. Obviously, this is all subjective. So if you guys think it's a great game and it's a play, let me know down in the comment section. Or do you disagree and you think that there is more to the game than just the first hour? I completely understand that. This is going off the first hour of every single one of these games. But guys, again, let me know. Play or pass down in the comment section. What's your favorite part of the game? What's your least favorite part? Does the game get better? Leave all of your thoughts down there. And guys, I appreciate it. I'll see you with the next one. Enjoy the games.